I want to make a quick video inspired by um, something that somebody sent to me. Uh, somebody was like, basically, like I would show up more unapologetically, or I, I would do, you know, the things that you're doing. Um, but you know, you've probably never been homeless. You probably never had to to deal with that, right? And a couple things there. Uh, first of all, this person don't know me. Uh, you don't know what I've been through, or what I what I have or haven't been through. Um, I also don't have shit to prove. Um, to anybody, I'm not going to go, Oh, let me tell you all the things I have done. Um, and it's easy to look at somebody who's doing something you want to do and then, and then make up excuses, make up reasons why that's not available to you. Right? Like I can't do that because instead of asking the question of how could I make that possible for me? When you ask your brain a question, it looks for an answer, right? So if you were to say, how could I do that? Then you're, then you're, you're seeking out infinite possibility, which, which is available to all of us, right? Infinite possibility rather than I can't do that because, and I have compassion in the sense that like, I, that was my thinking. That was my thinking. It's, 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 we don't like being confronted with successful people or seemingly successful people because it, it makes us, it calls us out. Like I felt that way when I would see my friends like publish a book, I'd be like, well, when are you going to publish your book? Right? Like it, it calls us out, but I don't need to be like, well, I can't publish a book because I can publish a book. Right. And so I, I, I choose to see other people's, when other people are winning as that's available to me rather than finding reasons why it's not available to me. I say that's available to me. The person who said this to me has lighter skin than me. I could certainly be like, well, shit, you have light skin privilege or, you know, I'm, they may even not be black. I'm not even sure. But like, you don't deal with anti-blackness. We can all come up with reasons as to why we're not being successful. And ironically enough, the time that I was worried about being uh, unhoused um, was when I was employed. When I was working 40 hours a week, making not enough money, that as a teacher, that's when I was contemplating living in my car. And it was because I knew that the way of my way of living was not sustainable. That is what motivated me to start my own business. I said, either I start my own business or I'm screwed anyway. I'm screwed anyway, because teaching is not sustainable. It's a terribly abusive, exploitive job. It's, it's not it's highly unrecommended. <laughs> it's highly recommended unless you can do it on your own terms. I still feel like I teach, but now I teach on my own terms. So I just want to make that point. Uh, and I also want to make this point is that you can be 100% unapologetically yourself. You could post a bikini picture on LinkedIn and still make money. Like the idea that we're all looking for one size fits all, or we're all looking for, you know, some assimilated, you know, version of yourself. Like we're not all seeking that. Like that's, we're not all seeking that. So this perception that I must hold back in order to have a paycheck that I can't show up fully express, a lot of that is in your head. And yes, there's going to be X percent that's not, that doesn't, that does not going to fuck with you. So what? You don't need everyone to be down with you, right? You just need the people that you roll with, the people that you rock with, like your people. You're looking for your people. And the more that you are 100% yourself, the more your people can see you. And I'd rather be loved or hated for exactly who I am than some perception of who you think I am, right? And what I get told over and over again is you're so refreshing. You're a breath of fresh air. And that is because in general, people are faking the funk. Like, and I get that, like, we feel like we have to blah, blah, blah. I understand the patriarch, white supremacy. I understand all the things, but bottom line is that people are not showing up authentically. They're not showing up as themselves or showing up as some version that they, they think is going to be acceptable, like the acceptable version of them, the watered down version of them. And I just can't emphasize enough. You can show up as yourself and be loved and compensated and taken care of. And you don't have to keep acquiescing. So all, sorry, I got a quick interruption. So all that to say, like, don't make excuses. Don't look at people and decide that you can't have what they, what they, what, what they have, you know, and decide that like, just self reject, right? Like you can do anything that I'm doing. I'm not special. I can't emphasize that enough. And I understand that like, you know, I'm trying to wake people up. That is my point with my post. I am trying to get you out of the matrix. I'm trying to get you to realize you're in the matrix and that there's a better way and that we don't have to spend all of our time fulfilling somebody else's dreams and hopes, making not enough money when we could be banking on ourselves and showing up fully expressed and being fully, you know, authentic. Like I am more concerned about disappointing 
my ancestors, the spirit guides, God, and living a scared life where I was more caught up in what people thought of me than what I thought of me or what God thought of me or the ancestors thought of me. And what I was told is that the mission that I'm here to do is I'm, I'm here to teach. I'm here to teach boldly and unapologetically and to just go do the things. And it's not going to be perfect and, and it's not going it, to, it's going to be messy. And so what? Right. I feel like so many of us are, are scared to just go for it because we want it to be perfect and we want it to not be messy. And, and it's going to be messy and it's going to be imperfect and you can still live your best life, like failing your way through it. Right. Like making mistakes with all my typos, with all my terms that y'all are like, well, that's not the right term. Like whatever. I'm, I, I'm, I'm still going to put it out there. I'm not going to wait until I get a 100 percent, you know approval rate from from the masses until the master like yes charlo we like this post we all agree like i would actually be really upset if you all if you all agree i'm like no it's not controversial though. like we're here to be fully expressed and i encourage all of you to be 111 percent you I, I truly believe that i am god manifested as charla and that god gets the most joy out of me being unapologetically me because i'm i'm, I'm i but people can't see me and can't recognize me unless they they unless I'm showing up as myself. So I'm all for being loved and, or being hated for exactly who I am. I do not want any type of inauthenticity. And I encourage other people to live unapologetically, you know, in your truth and see what happens. I'll tell this quick story. I love this story. Prince was opening for U2, right? The band U2. He was unknown and he came out, um, he came out in his Speedos. Um, for YouTube's audience, right? And YouTube, the YouTube audience booed him, booed Prince off stage. And the next night he was opening for YouTube again and he came out again and his Speedos. And again, he was booed off stage. Now Prince could have conformed and put on pants and taken off his eyeliner and not worn like assless pants or high heels, but then he wouldn't be Prince. Prince had to find his people. He had to find his audience. He had to find the audience that was going to be like, hell yes, you look great in those Speedos. We love it, right? So that's my thing is like, I'm not, YouTube's audience is not going to like me. That's all right. YouTube's audience is not going to like you. You have to find your audience, find your people. And you can't do that unless you're going to come out <laughs> unapologetically in your Speedos, all right? Come out in your Speedos and find out who's cheering for that shit. Those are your people. Rock with them. Bye.